Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Ethan Feller, stock strategist here at Zacks, and today I want to share with you a stock that I'm extremely excited about. We all know that the AI revolution is changing the world and has offered several very fruitful stock market opportunities. And today I want to share with you another one that is very interesting. This company is called Innodata, and it's a small cap technology stock that plays a crucial role in the development of AI technology. So Innodata is a technology company that helps businesses transform and digitize to help prepare for the future and to harness the power of data and artificial intelligence. They're at the forefront of the trend towards digital transformation, and they enable companies to modernize their operations to make smarter and more data-informed decisions. So what exactly does that mean? So before you can feed any data to AI models, you got to manage and, and organize that data. So they transform raw data into usable formats for to feed into AI models, and they'll also label and categorize the data. You know, data cleaning, data organization, all important part of the process. And then they'll also assist in training the AI models to help create accurate predictions and useful decisions and make sure those large language models give us you know, decent responses. And then they'll also help companies build custom platforms and tools that, that helps them manage and analyze the data on their own as well. So the digitization of business is a massive trend and they work in industries like healthcare and publishing and finance. And not only do they work in those industries, but they're also partnered with some of the largest technology companies in the world. They're currently working with five of these magnificent seven stocks. So those are the hyperscalers and you know the AI tools that people are using every day. And, and the data isn't new to the industry and they were working on AI before it was popular. So the company is just extremely well positioned to benefit from the ongoing boom. And their recent quarterly report highlighted significant growth and strong performance at the last quarter. They showed revenue of $52.2 million, which was a 136% year over year increase. And so, yeah, let's just take a quick look at the website. You can see a couple of the case studies that Inid Data has done. Here we can see that, you know, they were evaluating the AI outputs to improve performance. This is the project that they have going with five of the big tech companies. So that's like probably Microsoft, Google, Meta. So all, all of those big companies are their, are their, are their clients. You can see another one, you know, they say that they fine tune these large language models. And of course, you know, these tools are awesome and you want kids using them for educational purposes, but you got to protect them as well. So you know, they made sure that these, these models were, you know, good, good for kids to use. And you can also see they work in the academic industry as well. They help another educational institution to, you know, organize all the data from research papers, which helps improve systematic research and, and a lot of other things. So yeah, they're all over the place. They're in all different industries. Uh, most importantly, we can see that it has a Zach's rank one, uh, which means it has strongly upward trending earnings revisions, which we'll take a look at really quickly. It's got style scores. It's got an A in growth and momentum. And it's in the top 32% of the Zach's industry rank. Here we can see that the earnings revisions have snapped massively higher. We can also see that it's a small cap stock. It's got a market cap of just $1.3 billion, which leaves considerable room to the upside. Uh, we can also see that it kind of has a premium valuation. It's trading around 60 times forward earnings. So uh, this isn't a low risk stock. I mean, and then we'll take a look at the stock chart in a minute too. And here we can see the factors that go into that Zach's rank one. We, you can see there's only one analyst covering the stock, which is uh, unusual for a small cap stock. But this analyst has revised earnings estimates considerably higher. Ground quarter earnings have nearly doubled from 11 cents to 21 cents in the last month. Uh, and then full year 2024 earnings have really skyrocketed from 21 cents all the way to 75 cents in this year, for this year. And then next year, they've also jumped about 20%. Yes, let's take a quick look at the sales growth. So you can see sales growth has grown massively this year. It's up 100%. Or I'm sorry, this quarter, it's up 100%. Next quarter, 105%. This year, 89%. See, next year, it's a little bit lower, 22%. However, this company works with big contracts. And, you know, between now and next year, it's probable that, you know, they, they take on a new contract, which would probably boost their sales and boost their earnings. So, so let's take a look at the stock chart. So Inodata has gone up a lot this year. I mean, there's no, no denying that this, this stock is up massively. It's up almost 500% year to date. And 
especially with that premium valuation, I understand why for some people it's difficult to buy stock that is up so much in such a brief amount of time. And then you can see following that banner earnings report, uh, the stock jumped from 25 to nearly $50 or nearly doubled in just the last month. But what I've learned more than anything in these last two years as this AI boom has gone on is that these AI stocks, they'll just go and go and go. And of course, there, there's risk in buying a stock that's up a lot or buying a stock that has a higher valuation, but you know, you just got to have prudent risk management. You got to set a stop, you got to position size it properly in your portfolio. And, and that way you can hold on to it for the, for the next leg higher. Don't, don't put too many, too much, too big a position in this stock, but don't put so small a position that you're not going to benefit. So, you know, I'm, I'm just keeping my eye on this kind of consolidation after earnings, this earnings gap up, and then it's sort of holding this level as a really encouraging action to me. You know, I think if you want to be risk averse, you can set a stop right here at 3650 and buy, you know, anywhere in this range. You know, maybe this kind of builds out a consolidation and maybe you want to wait for another breakout above like $46. Um, but, you know, this is just a stock I really want people to keep their radar on, keep on their radar because, you know, this AI thing happens in waves. And, you know, these last few weeks, the stock market has picked up again and the AI trend is picking up again. And, you know, we've had a lot of these infrastructure players do really well, like NVIDIA and Microsoft. You know, these guys are, are building the structure and the infrastructure for us to use these AI products. But now we're going to have these other players, like you have Palantir, and now we have something like Inadata where they're consulting with businesses to help them utilize these products. So yeah, that's it. That's Inadata. I recommend checking it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this presentation informative and entertaining. If you want more information from Zach's, I recommend signing up for our newest promo. Uh, the link is in the bio, or you can just go to zax.com slash promo. Thanks. Have a good day.